This is just a short video showing you how to use desktop extensions to be able to get a MCP server installed in Claude Desktop and to start using it just by double clicking the file. No dealing with any code, no dealing with any config JSON, no having to manually run the server, just click and go. So let's take a look. I'm gonna give you a demonstration of this on my uh, desktop here. I'm looking at a Mac computer and we have two servers that we want to get going one for exploring a fabric workspace and one for exploring a semantic model. You can find links to these down below. So what we're going to do is we're going to open Claude Desktop. And once we have Claude Desktop going, we can double click our DXT file. And this is then going to, in Claude Desktop, allow us to install it. We have key information about the server, like what we can do with it, the tools, who made it, the license, in this case, non-commercial and then we can go. So we installed server number one. Now we can install server number two. Same process, we just double click, and then we can install, and we're good to go, that's it. So a quick note that if this doesn't work for you, for example, on Windows, you have to double click it and it will ask you to find Claude first sometimes. You can also install extensions another way. So in order to do this, you can go into this menu here and you can go into add connectors or manage connectors. And then you can scroll down to desktop extensions here. And then we can add our own extensions. We can go advanced settings and then install extension. This will allow us to be able to select a extension. For example, I have an extension here on my desktop in the Fabric Workspace Reader, and then we can install it like we normally would. Once we have at least one of these extensions going, then when we go back to our extensions here, we can just drag and drop one of these other extensions that we have, like the Model Reader in this case, that we still need to add. So we can just drag it into here, and it will also install it this way. So these are two different ways to be able to install it, either dragging it and dropping it into this extensions or going into the advanced settings and selecting it there as well. So again, no dealing with any code, no dealing with any configuration files, and we have our MCP servers ready to go. So let's test them with a simple prompt. Go to a model, tell me the number of exercises per muscle group, tell me if there's any reports in that workspace, and when the underlying semantic model was last updated. So quite a extensive list of things that we can do with just five tools. And as you can see, it can proceed and start working on it. So if you want to configure these, you can just go into manage connectors. And then there's an option for looking at the connectors. And there's also another option for extensions where you can also uninstall any extensions that you place and also receive other information about them that you saw during their installation. Now, it's important to keep in mind that any extensions that you do install are from a trusted source because, of course, MCP servers can always be able to execute code and things, so you should definitely be careful what you're installing. In this case, we're just using some simple things to explore a Fabric workspace. We're getting its contents, and we're going to be able to get the definition so that it can query the underlying model and of course, it can be able to fix the query if it creates any issues and autonomously be able to get this information. So again, I want to emphasize this isn't magic. These MCP servers, they're definitely very impressive, very interesting, but for every demo that I show you of them working and doing something cool, I have two demos where they do something stupid or where it doesn't work. So keep that in mind. Uh, this is all going to depend on how you're setting up your context and your prompt and how the MCP server actually works. So we get our results. We can see the number of exercises per muscle group, and it can give us some information about the reports, including when they were last updated. And we can also see when the underlying semantic model was last refreshed, and even what it's connected to. So great, that is very convenient, very interesting, very useful. Um, so you can find the link to those MCP servers down below. So enjoy them, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Have a nice weekend.